So in the next example, we'll see one more application where again what is constant is distance. So when you're solving a problem on time, speed and distance, again I'll repeat the same factor. What is constant in the problem? Try to understand that. Read the next one. It says the average speed of the train is 67.5 km per hour if only the traveling time is considered and it reduces to 60 km per hour if stoppage time is also included. Find the average stoppage time of the train per hour of the journey. Again, from here, from let's say from city A, I want to go to city B, all right? So from A to B, what is constant is the distance. So if I travel at a stretch, I will cover the distance in the shortest time. If I introduce stoppages, obviously the time will increase. But what is the constant factor is distance. So again, because distance is constant, if you read the language, I'll solve it by the traditional method. Distance is constant. What is the definition of distance? Speed into time. All right. Speed into time. Originally, my speed is S. My time is T and my distance is D. It says the average speed is given to you as 67.5. So 67.5 of t, this will give you the distance. All right, so this happens to be your relation number one. Now this speed reduces to 60. Why? Because you're introducing stoppages. So if speed has reduced, obviously the time has increased. So it is no more a traveling, but it is traveling plus the stoppage time. All right, when you equate the two, what will happen is 67.5 of T is equal to 60, equate them, 60T plus 60TS, 67.5 of T minus 60T, that is 7.5 of T will give you 60TS. Can you take up this ratio, this is T upon TS, that is equal to 60 by 7.5, so 75 eights are, this ratio is what, 8 by 1, so T upon TS, the ratio happens to be 8 by 1. So what is this T? This T stands for traveling, TS stands for stoppage time. So T is your traveling time and TS is your stoppage time. Now read the last line of the question and let's try to interpret it. It says, what is the average stoppage time of the train per hour of the journey? So this is the total time. What does it mean? It means eight minutes you travel. After that, you take a stoppage of one minute. Eight minutes you travel after that you take a stoppage of one minute so you can i say my total journey happens to be of nine minutes and in this nine minutes my stoppage time happens to be how much one minute so out of every nine minutes of journey i'm stopping for one and i'm traveling for eight so what is my average stoppage time it is one minute out of nine minutes so the ratio happens to be 1 by 9 of an hour. So the correct answer, what is the average stoppage time of the train per hour of the journey happens to be 1 by 9 of an hour. All right. So this is again one more example where what is again constant? Distance is constant, right? So let's take up the next one. It's again have the same very similar concept. An arrow shot at 80 meters per second hits the target two seconds sooner if the wind is moving at 20 meters per second. How much time it takes to hit the target if it is shot against the wind, all right? An arrow shot at 80 meters per second. So what is called speed is 80 meters per second, all right? Source to target, all right? This is my source target. What is constant I can see is the distance. So distance is again constant. Distance is equal to speed into time, all right? Speed is 80 meters per second, time taken was t seconds. So initially, let us consider this is a speed when no wind was moving, all right? If the wind is moving in the same direction, obviously it is going to add up to the speed, all right? Hits the target two seconds sooner. So if the wind is moving in the same direction, so obviously it is going to add up to speed. Because my d is again constant, I can say speed is inversely proportional to what? Time, so my speed will increase it means my time will decrease speed earlier it was 80 because the wind is moving in the same direction so adds up by 20 so you are increasing by 20 on a base of 80 so increment happens to be 1 by 4 all right so speed increases by 1 by 4 it means time has to decrease by 1 by 5 
but time in the question reduces by just two seconds if the wind is moving in the same direction. So, 1 by 5 of the time happens to be equal to 2 seconds. So, time happens to be equal to how much? 10 seconds. Right? By how many minutes he would be delayed? Alright? If he, the wind is shot against the wind. Right? So, if the target is shot against the wind. So, now when the target is going to shot against the wind, obviously what will happen is, speed is inversely proportional to time. Now, your speed will reduce by 1 by 3. 1 by 4 sorry because 20 is reduced on a base of 80. So now the wind is moving in the opposite direction. So your, your speed will reduce by 20 on a base of 80. So speed happens to reduce by 1 by 4. So time will increment by 1 by 3. Your original time happens to be 10 seconds. It will increment by 1 third of 10. So 1 third of 10 is how much? 3.33. So what it is? It is as good as 13.33 seconds. So, one third of 10 is 13.33 seconds. So, what is the average or you can say the time it takes to hit the target if it is shot against the wind? It is going to be 13.33 seconds. Clear? So, these three cases are considered to be the ones when the wind is not moving or it is moving in the opposite direction or it is moving in the same direction. Alright? So, in the previous three questions, we have considered all the cases when the distance was constant. Now let's see the next one. Now the next one it says, after traveling a distance of 100 km, the speed of the train is reduced and it moves at 3 by 4 of the original speed due to a technical fault and reaches destination 48 minutes late. If the increase in the speed, if the fault would have occurred 36 km further, the train would have reached 12 minutes earlier. What is the total distance traveled by the train? Whenever such question happens to come on the train based examples where the question is very lengthy in terms of the length, always remember make sure you draw the figure first. Try to understand the situation. What would have been the case? I am having two points. There is nothing related to solving in such questions. Source and destination. Just plot the graph. How does it say? This is point is A, this is a source and this point is B which is a destination. After traveling a distance of 100 km. So point C this point C as it has distance of 100 kilometers. Hai na? To A to C ka distance kitna hai? 100 kilometers. Original speed kitna hai mera? S. Point C per train kharaab ho gaya. And due to which train ka speed reduce ho gaya at 3 by 4 of S. Logically, agar speed kam ho gaya hai, to time badhega and it says it reaches destination 48 minutes late. To 48 minutes ka delay hai. Alright. Question bol raha hai ki agar train point C pe kharaab nahi hoti or 36 km aage ja ke kharab hoti to it would have reached 12 minutes earlier now the beauty is 12 minutes earlier will be with respect to 48 minutes late it is not with respect to the original time otherwise question galat ho jayega to ye jo 12 minutes earlier hai it is with respect to 48 minutes late so i want to find out this total distance so total distance kitna hai so this total distance is what we are interested point c tak already kitna hai 100 hai to mujhe nikalna kya hai c se lekar B the cut distance. Now, in any such questions which are based on the language of trains, ensure that there is a language which is used called as a covering up. What is the meaning of covering up? Example, from Pune station there is a train traveling to Hyderabad and this train has to depart from Pune station at 6 p.m. and it has to reach Hyderabad tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Agar ye train 6 p.m. ki jaga aadha ghanta late ho jati hai, it is half an hour late. So, I will assume that it will reach half an hour late in the morning all right but from pune at a station of 100 kilometers distance this train is only 15 minutes late so what i will say i will say that this train has covered 15 minutes after traveling a distance of 100 kilometers so when we use this word covering up it is related ki there is a distance which is traveled at a speed which is more than the average speed पीछे कोई ऐसा डिस्टेंस है जो नॉर्मल स्पीड से ज्यादा स्पीड पे कवर अप किया है वही लॉजिक मैंने यहां पे लगाया आई एम ट्राइंग टू से कि 3 by 4 of s the train is 48 minutes late so in most of the cases we will find people are trying to struggle to find out the value of s but actually it is a simple unitary method question based on a common logic now what happens is 12 minute jaldi pahunchta hu 12 minute jaldi pahunchte matlab 12 minute cover up ho raha hai you are covering up these 12 minutes so understand one thing 
12 मिनट कवरअप करने के लिए अर्लियर मतलब क्या हो गया कवरअप करने के लिए कितना चलना पड़ता है 36 किलोमीटर सो टू कवर अप 12 मिनट्स और राइट टू कवर अप 12 मिनट्स यू हैव टू ट्रेवल फॉर हाउ लॉन्ग 36 किलोमीटर्स और राइट सो इफ यू हैव टू कवर अप मुझे 48 एट मिनट्स लेट पॉइंट सी से मैं 48 एट मिनट्स लेट हो रहा हूं तो पॉइंट सी से 48 एट मिनट्स लेट इज इक्वल एंड टू हाउ मच ऑफ द डिस्टेंस तो 48 मिनट कवर अप करने के लिए हाउ मच डिस्टेंस आई हैव टू ट्रैवल सो दिस इज एज गुड एज ए सिंपल यूनिटरी मेथड क्वेश्चन सो वट डज इट मीन इट से फोर्टी एट इंटू थर्टी सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेल्व सो ट्वेल्व थ्री जा मेक्स इट हाउ मच वन फोर्टी फोर किलोमीटर सो दिस डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम सी टू बी इज हाउ मच वन फोर्टी फोर किलोमीटर्स फ्रॉम ए टू सी इट इज हाउ मच हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स सो टोटल डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम ए टू बी विल बी इक्वल टू हंड्रेड प्लस वन फोर्टी फोर which is how much 244 km so what is the total distance traveled by the train from source to destination so from source to destination it covers a total distance of how much 244 km is this is fine so let's see the next example so in the next example we will try to see one more condition where the question is very lengthy but this is always taken as a puzzle in most of the companies i'll just quickly explain the example if you read the question it says there is a tunnel all right so this is a tunnel this is a entry point of the tunnel and this is a exit point of the tunnel this is point a and this is point b a train is approaching this tunnel all right inside the tunnel at point c there is a cat and this cat is at a distance of 3 by 8 of ab when i use this word 3 by 8 of ab it means 3 km from the entry point and the total length of the tunnel is 8 km which means the remaining distance is how much 5 km all right the question says as soon as train whistles cat runs but cat doesn't know where to run because cat can run to point a as well as cat can run to point b if cat is moving towards point a train and cat will meet at point a and if cat is moving towards point b train and cat are supposed to meet at point b so find the ratio of speed of the train to speed of the cat so trust me in most of the cases people will prefer to leave this question but actually if you try to see a very simple common logic as i was discussing in the previous videos also we just have to understand what is constant factor in the question like almost everyone would be interested in this distance ट्रेन कितनी दूर से आ रही है ट्रेन का स्पीड इज नॉट गिवन ट्रेन का लेंथ इज नॉट गिवन और राइट सो वी ऑल विल बी वरीड अबाउट दिस डिस्टेंस विल टेक वन सिंपल एग्जाम्पल और राइट वी बोथ स्टार्ट अप फ्रॉम अवर प्लेस हम लोग अपने घर से निकलते हैं एंड वी आर सपोज टू मीट एट अ पर्टिकुलर डेस्टिनेशन वी बोथ हैव अ डिफरेंट डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम दिस ओरिजिनल डेस्टिनेशन और राइट सो माई डिस्टेंस इज फोर्टी किलोमीटर एंड योर डिस्टेंस इज सिक्सटी किलोमीटर एंड वी बोथ स्टार्ट फ्रॉम अवर प्लेस और हम लोग एक पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट ए पर मिलते हैं when you are using a word meeting or crossing in the example it purely means that time taken by both of us to reach to a particular point is what same so when i use this word that time taken by both of us to reach to a particular point is what same what will happen is t is constant when t is constant in the example time is constant it means it will be only happening in the question of meeting or crossing so this distance doesn't matter why jitna time cat ko lagega point a tak aane mein utna hi time train ko bhi lagega point a tak aane mein irrespective train is at a distance of 1000 km it doesn't matter so what i am trying to say is this distance doesn't matter so what matters is the speed so let us consider the speed of the cat happens to be 1 km per hour this is for our convenience we can take any other value apart from zero 1 km per hour it means this distance of 3 km will be covered in a time of 3 hours so cat takes 3 hours to reach to point a cat ko 3 ghante lagte hain point a tak pahunchne mein iska matlab train duniya mein kahin par bhi ho point a tak pahunchne mein kitna time lagega 3 hours all right so this is a case when cat is moving towards point a if cat happens to move to point b ye distance kitna hai 5 km कैट ने फाइव में से कितना कवर कर लिया थ्री किलोमीटर्स कितना टाइम लगा थ्री आवर्स 
कितना और बचा है टू किलोमीटर कितना टाइम लगेगा टू आवर्स जब कैट ने थ्री किलोमीटर कवर कर लिया इन थ्री आवर्स और राइट एंड कैट हैज रीच टू दिस पॉइंट कैन आई से ए तीन घंटे में ट्रेन हैज ऑलरेडी रीच टू पॉइंट ए और राइट बिकॉज तीन घंटे लगते हैं ट्रेन को पॉइंट ए तक आने में नाउ कैट विल टेक अनदर टू आवर्स टू कवर दिस टू किलोमीटर एंड रीच पॉइंट बी बट इन दीज टू आवर्स ट्रेन हैज टू कवर द एंटायर लेंथ ऑफ द टनल बिकॉज दे हैव सपोज टू मीट एट पॉइंट बी सो इन दीज टू आवर्स ट्रेन हैज टू कवर द एंटायर लेंथ ऑफ द टनल वट इज द एंटायर लेंथ ऑफ द टनल एट किलोमीटर्स सो ट्रेन हैज टू कवर दिस एंटायर लेंथ ऑफ द टनल सो इन टू आवर्स ट्रेन हैज टू कवर एट सो इन वन आवर ट्रेन विल कवर हाउ मच फोर तो स्पीड ऑफ द ट्रेन हैपन्स टू बी फोर किलोमीटर पर आर एंड स्पीड ऑफ द कैट हैपन्स टू बी वन किलोमीटर पर आर सो द एक्चुअल रेशियो फाइनल रेशियो बिकम्स वॉट फोर इज टू वन सो वट इज द रेशियो ऑफ द स्पीड ऑफ द कैट टू दैट ऑफ द ट्रेन दैट हैपन्स टू बी फोर इज टू वन ऑल राइट सो वेन एवर सॉल्विंग दीज क्वेश्चन विच आर बेस्ड ऑन टाइम इज कॉन्स्टेंट कीप अ सिंगल फैक्टर इन माइंड दैट द क्वेश्चन यू यूज द वर्ड लाइक मीटिंग और क्रॉसिंग क्लियर सो लेट्स सी द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल 